Hey guys, I'm John of JeromeMachetta.com and I'm with Mr. Art Samaniego of Manila Bulletin Tech News. Uh, <laughs> Hi! Welcome to Manila Bulletin Tech Lab. Uh, I'm Art Samaniego, editor of the Technology section of the Manila Bulletin. Welcome, John, to Manila Bulletin. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, don't forget to uh, like their Facebook page at facebook.com slash Manila Bulletin. Yes. And, and follow us on Twitter. Follow, us, follow them on Twitter at twitter.com slash manila underscore manila underscore bulletin so makikita nyo yung link sa baba so check it out don't forget to follow them and like their facebook page marami silang pinamimigay like moto 360 sumali ako doon <laughs> and baka manalo rin kayo ng moto 360 so uh, in this first episode um, pag-usapan natin yung mga smartwatch na nandito sa manila bulletin tech club uh, including buying cut 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 mag nang gagalaw mo siya doon Gumagalaw ka. Hindi siya sinasagdaan ko sa talaga. Hindi siya sinasagdaan ko talaga. Hindi siya sinasagdaan ko talaga. Go! Pag-usapan natin ngayon ng mga smartwatch na nandito sa Manila Bulletin Tech Lab. Uh, like the Moto 360, the Galaxy Gear, the G-Shock, the Bluetooth, and of course the smartwatch 2 ng Sony and the Pebble um, Steel. So, uh, tara, um, let's check it out. Alright guys, so ito na yung mga smartwatch na nandito sa Manila Bulletin Tech Lab and sobrang dami nila and unahin ko muna to, this is the Pebble Steel yes, Pebble Steel uh, ang Kuku uh, Watch and this one, it's favorite ng lahat and actually ako, gusto ko nito um, the Moto 360 and hindi nyo makita yung display and so, yun, Moto 360 uh, it's um, Android Wear na, na smartwatch Uh, then the Samsung Galaxy Gear 2 hindi ito yung Neo kasi ito yung may camera um, this is the first generation ng Samsung Galaxy Gear um, in-announce to nung in-announce din yung Samsung Galaxy Note 3 last year um, this one is the well this is not smartwatch parang well uh, it's a G-Shock Bluetooth watch it notifies you na kung may well kung, kung meron kang messages or email Then, of course, ang gamit ko is the Sony Smartwatch 3. Eh, sorry, so, Sony Smartwatch 2. This is the, uh, yung metal band na Sony Smartwatch 2 kasi dalawa yung available. Pag-usapan natin mamaya. And this one is the Polaroid um, Smartwatch. Uh, yan. And pinakahuli is the Creos um, Smartwatch na, well, pag-usapan na natin mamaya. So, ang um, walang battery to, itong apat na to, so, uh, and then ito, ito rin, yes, wala. Pero ang Pebble meron, um, so pag una, una, unahin ko muna yung Pebble, hindi ko na patatagalin to. Um, so the Pebble is a smartwatch na it can connect your iPhone and Android smartwatch, eh, Android phone. Um, maraming available na apps to, so, totoo lang. And this is one of the most popular na smartwatch na available ngayon. Pero sa Pilipinas, it's either pwede ka order online, um, Meron sa OLX. Actually, may nagbebenta dati. Before na makakuha ka ng Pebble na at around 3,500. So, that's pretty cheap. Um, it's um, water resistant. Uh, pero it's not... Uh, hindi siya touchscreen. Look, hindi siya touchscreen. Buttons lang siya. And medyo maliit yung display niya compared to other um, smartwatch. So, so, if I'm not... So, if I'm not getting a, an Android Wear na smartwatch, I'd probably get a uh, Pebble smartwatch. Um, this is actually good. Ilang beses ko na siya na-try. Pero this is my first one na nakakita ng, ng Pebble Steel. First time ko mahawakan and sobrang premium yung design niya. Medyo may pagkabigatan kasi syempre metal. Gawa siya sa steel. Kaya nga yung pangalan, Pebble Steel. Uh, yeah, so di, ito yung charging niya. So it's not micro USB, power button. And of course yung button, navigational buttons niya. So pwede ka magpalit-palit ang watch face if you want. So, yan. Yeah. Uh, So, dito na tayo sa susunod. Um, dito muna tayo sa mga walang battery. So, this is the Samsung Galaxy Gear 2 uh, with the camera. Ayan, may camera. And then, um, nakita niyo ni hands-on ko dito before. And again, ang band niya is napapaltan. Unlike the first Samsung Galaxy Gear. na Well, Samsung Galaxy Gear. And um, this one has in home button dito. Hindi, wala na siya sa side. Pero well, sana sa side na kasi mas maganda kung yung home button niya nasa side. And ang problema sa mga gear uh, is pwede lang siya kumonek sa mga mga Galaxy smartphones. Piling Galaxy smartphones. Pero the features niya, it's, it's actually good. Meron siya heart rate sensor. I'm not sure if, if it's accurate. 
Uh, pero syempre, hindi siya super 100% accurate. It's not recommended para gamitin sa mga hospital and everything related sa mga ganun. Um, pero, you could do uh, calls dito sa Gear. Uh, so, al- well, pwede rin dito sa Samsung Galaxy Gear, pero dito sa Gear 2, uh, you could do a lot more compared dito sa Gear 1. And yung mga flaws ng Gear 1 uh, na sagot na dito sa Gear 2. Pero again, I um, di ko medyo type yung design. Uh, it looks simple, pero... Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's actually good. Pero, you know, the design, hindi ko type. Uh, so, yun. I guess that's it for this um, Samsung Gear 2. This one is the Samsung Galaxy Gear. Uh, the first generation uh, na smartwatch ng Samsung. Actually, yung camera niya is nandun sa band. So, hindi niya mapapaltan yung band niya kasi nakadikit na talaga siya sa watch. Medyo may kabigatan din to. And yung software, latest software update nito is mag update siya to Tizen. Tizen or Tizen, I'm not sure. Um, hindi na siya uh, hindi na siya powered by Android. Um, yung apps, yes, mga problema kayo if meron kayong apps na binili for the gear na na Android kasi iba yung apps for Tizen kaysa sa Android. Um, unlike the uh, Gear 2, wala siyang heart rate sensor pero yung charging niya is ganito rin. Uh, actually, ito yung charger niya. So, ilalagay niyo siya dito. Uh, yan. So, ilala- papatang nyo lang dito and then yan. Then, dito yung micro USB niya side of Sorry, ito yung micro USB niya. So, dyan yung charge yung Galaxy Gear. Actually, mas maliit, mas maiksi yung battery life nito compared dito sa sa Gear 2. Mas mahaba yung battery life nito eh. Uh, at around, expected na Samsung is around 2 to 3 days. Ito naman is, uh, sabi na reviews is uh, 1 day lang or less. So, medyo disappointing to kasi for smartwatch na 1 day or less ng battery life, medyo disappointing. Eh. Sana more than a day at least sa isang smartwatch. Um, ito naman, this is, <laughs> medyo hindi siya smartwatch at lola. So, familiar design ng G-Shock, the philosophy, the design. I mean, look at this. Ito tal- talagang familiar tayo dito sa design ng G-Shock, lalo sa mga mahilig sa G-Shock. Um, um, and so, it's shock resistant, then it's water resistant, then I'm pretty sure na ganun yun. Uh, pero this one is different compared sa other G-Shock kasi ito ay hindi dun sa ilaw yung difference niya. Meron siyang Bluetooth na pwede nyo connect sa smartphone and it acts as a, pwede kayo notify kung may message kayo but it's it's not really a smartwatch there are no third party apps for this one so basically notify it notifies si lang na may a message and yes it's a G-Shock so i guess medyo type ko to kasi G-Shock alam mo alam niyo naman ako guys na mahilig ako sa sa G-Shock oh, all right looking at games Moto 360 medyo mahilig ako sa G-Shock so medyo type ko to kasi it's G-Shock with a bluetooth um fun- functionality that's a smartwatch it does fix everything. So, ito naman, the Sony Smartwatch 3. Um, I think smartwatch na ginagamit ko ngayon, it's not powered by Android Wear, pero it's a proprietary uh, OS na Samsung, ng Sony, I'm sorry, pero um, you could install third-party apps like this one. Meron akong Blackjack. So, pag, pag tinatamad ako, nagba-Blackjack ako sa Prelo. Diba? Ang cool. And then, marami siyang apps, sa totoo lang, pero medyo buggy siya. Hindi siya sobrang bilis, pero... It's actually okay. Maganda, maganda pa rin naman ang Sony Smartwatch 3. Eh, Sony Smartwatch 2, I'm sorry. Pero available na yung Sony Smartwatch 3 soon, which is an Android Wear smartwatch. Uh, so, mamaya natin pag-usapan to. Uh, itong, itong Moto 360, medyo, alam ko medyo excited kayo sa Moto 360, pero ito muna. Um, so, despite having an Android button dito sa Sony Smartwatch 2, it's not Android again. Uh, ito yung charger port niya. Nandito sa tabi yan. Micro USB. Uh, it's water resistant then and it's actually good para sa akin it looks good despite having a square face watch face um dito naman tayo sa, sa Polaroid uh, na smartwatch it's a plastic plastic lang siya made up of plastic um um medyo rubber type yung kanyang band and then yes it's Polaroid <laughs> and then um I guess this is the micro USB yes micro USB wala siyang battery pero isa to sa mga murang smartwatch na mabibili niya sa Polaroid. Actually, you could check out Polaroid sa mga... Meron sa SM Manila. Uh, sa mga malapit siya sa SM Manila. Nanonood sa akin yan. Uh, meron sa SM Manila na Polaroid store. Nagbebenta sila nito. Medyo mura to for a smartwatch. Pero I'm not sure with the quality kasi sobrang plastic nung feel niya compared to other smartwatch na natry ko na nandito sa background. Um, so, ito naman si uh, Creos. Uh, started sa kick... Sa, nag-start siya sa Kickstarter and... Marami siyang promise pero again hindi siya hindi niya na deliver like yung water resistance niya well hindi rin maganda yung design niya it, it looks like a Tamagotchi for me um uh, apat what's this it's the buttons niya it's not water resistant the design doesn't look good and 
ang gusto ko lang sa kanya yung rubber uh, band niya. Pero this one, the design and functionality, ay, hindi ko type. Hindi ko type. Unfortunately, wala tayong battery. So, hindi natin matatry si Creos smartwatch. So, malapit na tayo sa Moto360. Kulihin ko yan. Then. And then, here's the Kuku smartwatch. Well, it's not really a smartwatch. Pero, <clears throat> um, so, natry ko na to before. Uh, I'm not sure. Yes, you could. I guess na handsome. Yes, na handsome ko na to before. Uh, the Kuku smartwatch um so meron siyang analog clock. Dalawa actually yung battery nito, isa sa analog and then isa sa digital. Ah, uh, yung digital niya is yung notification niya. Actually, makikita niyo yung uh, mali, yung bilog diyan sa gitna. Meron siyang mga umiilaw na notification diyan. Ino-notify kayo niya kung may new message ba kayo, tweet, Facebook or any, even emails. Magno-notify siya sa inyo kung meron kayong bagong email, bagong message Facebook pero yeah it's um the design looks good pero medyo makapal siya sa totoo lang ayan medyo makapal um unfortunately wala tayong battery hindi ko mapapakita pero you can check out my past hands on alam ko meron ako dito sa Kuku smartwatch and yan hindi niya papalitan yung battery <coughs> kita niyo naman uh so yan finally dito na tayo sa pinaka-paborito ng lahat the Moto 360 ayan so napindot ko agad uh So, yung ba niya is, um, it's an, wow, it's a leather. Leather siya sa ilalim. We got a um, water resistant, Moto 360 stainless steel. Basahin nyo na lang yan. Meron din siyang heart rate sensor. Yes, that's a heart rate sensor sa baba. There's a wireless, char- wireless charger din siya. And of course, since um, this is a smartwatch, may pedometer. What's this? I guess this is the pedometer. Um, ang pinakamalaking, pinakamaganda feature niya, of course, is the watch face niya, which is round. Pansin nyo naman around And maliit lang yung bezels nya Ang ang kinapangit lang nito para sa akin Is yung flat bezels nya sa baba So if you can s- still remember the first um, s- um, Moto 360 nung in-announce sya Wala syang flat bezels sa baba Pero after a few weeks ng mga Months actually nung ano um, Naglili sila again ng bagong picture With the flat bezels sa baba uh, Hindi naman masyadong halata If you're using naman the smartwatch It's actually good uh, Sorry And wait Yeah. So, here's the watch face and pwede niyo palitan yung watch face niya sa totoo lang. Uh, and, and so, you could change the watch face. May nata-download din if you want. Uh, pero, this is the watch face ng Moto 360 uh, na ginamit ni Sir Art. Ayan. So, this is Android Wear. You could install a lot of Android Wear apps. I'm not sure if you can see the display. Ayan. Uh, ayan. So, actually, ito yung apps niya. Medyo hindi pa ako masyado familiar with uh, Android Wear since this is the second time lang gumamit ako ng Android Wear. The first one was the LG G Watch. Uh, right, so it's a little bit confusing para sa akin. Alright, so yeah. Um, again, mamaya natin, mamaya ko ulit pag-discover. Um, ang gusto ko dito is yung kanyang sides look. It's, oh, right, so guys, uh, isa lang yung button niya, ito lang sa side. Um, it's metal, metal design. Um, Look at the bezels and medyo naka-elevate yung display niya, yung glass niya, look. Uh, medyo elevated yung glass niya. Ayan no, so medyo may konting elevation. Pero, again, the display looks good. Uh, show me my... Ito yung apps niya, ito yun, ito yan. Ito yung sa, sa Android Wear, yung kanyang mga... Well, yung mga apps niya. The, you can use yung remind me to go to for a run, show me my step, show me my heart rate, send a text, email, agenda, navigate, ayan. So... And this is Google now, so pag sinabi ko, well, ayaw ko sabi okay Google. Um, pwede mo mong gamitin tong Google, uh, um, pwede mo, oh, um, lumabas. Um, pwede mong gamitin yung um, Moto 360, puro um, lumalabas. Ayun, ayun, wala may lumalabas. So, um, you could use the uh, Moto 360, ayan, for, ayan, so search. So, actually, pwede siyang pandaya sa school. Pwede siyang kodigo, di ba? <laughs> pwede siyang kodigo, and then, Uh, dito um, dito yung mga Facebook notifications meron kayo notifications you could just swipe to the left nakita nyo mga kanina uh, pwede nyo i-like or everything pero when it comes to apps parang mas type ko yun nasa Sony Smartwatch 3 kasi parang you could do a lot more with the Sony Smartwatch 3 pero again it has a lot of bugs hindi siya masyadong okay pagdating sa performance pero mas promising pati mas promising nga Android where mas marami apps na darating soon sa Play Store So, I guess that's it for the Jam Online TV special ng uh, Jam Online TV Manila Bulletin special ng smartwatch. So, this is the episode 1. Check out episode 2 which is um, the iPhones. 
usapan natin mamaya. Um, so, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel at youtube.com slash jamonlineblog. And of course, huwag nyo kakalimutan, um, bisitahin na Manila Bulletin at facebook.com slash Manila Bulletin. Um, ganun din ang Twitter at twitter.com slash Manila Bulletin. Huwag nyo na rin kalimutan mag-subscribe sa kanila. They have a YouTube channel, they have cool hands-on with Sir, si Sir Art Samaniego. Meron nga itong binagsakang iPhone, kinabahan ako, nag- na heart attack ako sa totoo lang. So, yun. Guys, so I think that's it for the, uh, again, it's the, the first episode ng Jam Online TV Manila Bulletin Special. So once again, I'm Jam from JeroManchetto.com and thanks for watching the first um, episode of Jam Online TV Manila Bulletin Special.